this is how narcissists sabotage themselves. This is how narcissists deliberately destroy their own relationships. Narcissists deliberately destroy what they have built, what they have worked on, because they know that they obtained it by deception. They know they obtained it by hiding the truth, by deceiving you, by unjustifiably claiming or being credited with particular accomplishments or qualities. And that is why they're so paranoid and hypervigilant that is why they're constantly assessing potential threats around them. Because when they get involved in situations or with people, they know they're not being themselves. They know they're not being authentic. They're misleading people. So they have to sabotage their relationships. They have to adjust their false character to keep you under control, to keep you in order and in check. They're coming into the relationship as an imitation of something else, as something that is not true, genuine or honest, as something that is only intended to deceive. So it's a lot easier for them to abandon you. They're not really sabotaging the relationship. They're just abandoning it to avoid something that is bound to happen. To avoid something that would be unavoidable if they chose to remain in the relationship because they know that at some point you're going to discover who they really are. You're going to figure them out. It may seem like they're sabotaging. It may seem like they're deliberately destroying their relationship. But they're just having issues controlling and restraining their false character. They're having problems with containing their false image, which they have to do in order to further manipulate and trick you. They may fail to take proper care of it. They may not give enough attention to it until it's gradually revealed and ceases to function. Which is when you start to see their mask slipping off. You start to see their true character and feelings. And you start to wonder what happened to this perfect character, this person who was exactly right, this person who did everything carefully and completely. They're beginning to neglect the false character that they first showed you. because they're losing interest. Their interest doesn't last long. So it's only a matter of time until they turn against the very character that they displayed to you in the first place. They act in opposition to it and show resistance to it. And then they take an interest in something else. which can look like they're messing up everything that they've just built. But they were just playing a role. They were putting on an act. And at some point, they abandoned that false character. Which means they have to abandon everything else that goes along with it. 
They have to abandon everything that they were trying to hide. They have to abandon the illusion. They have to stop using it. They're abandoning the false character and the role that the character was supposed to play, which is everything that they were displaying to you. So it looks like they're sabotaging themselves. It looks like they're destroying their relationship. But really, they're abandoning their commitment to the false character. The character that they were using to manipulate you. And now they're changing their position, direction and focus onto something else. Because they have very short attention spans. There's a very short length of time for which they are able to concentrate on a particular activity or subject. They're easily distracted. So they're constantly going from one thing to the next. It's never stable. And their interest also changes direction and focus very quickly too. Their feelings of wanting to know and learn more about you can change at any moment. The moment they feel like they're not getting the supply or power that they should be getting from you, their attention and interests instantly goes on something else. And then they neglect the character that they use to entice and attract you. They stop acting. They stop performing in the way that they did before that initially aroused your curiosity and interest, that initially fascinated you. And once they begin to neglect this character, it looks like they're sabotaging themselves, but they're just neglecting the false image that they use to manipulate you with. And then that attention is on something else. But when they lose interest in that, they will come back and get something small from you. It's like first they're going in one direction, but then they will go in the opposite one. It's like an emotional roller coaster. It seems to have wild and unpredictable changes, but they're just going in and out of characters, which is how they can be completely different depending on their environment. They can change their mood and character around certain people. If you could be a fly on the wall, you would see a completely different person. They have multiple personalities because they're always trying to blend in. They're always trying to be whatever they think other people want them to be. They change their opinions and behavior according to the situation. But when they're not getting a widespread reaction of interest and excitement, they abandon that character. And then they put their interest and attention on something that is more stimulating to them. And once they abandon that character, everything else goes with it. They no longer try to uphold their false image. And it looks like they're sabotaging themselves because they stop caring at all about you. They stop being concerned. They stop considering you as important. When they abandon the character, they stop caring about anything that's associated with that character. And it looks like sabotage. It looks like they're trying to destroy their relationship but they're just abandoning the character. They're abandoning the character that they were using to entice you and fool you with.
which is how you can see them doing something with someone else. That is completely different and unusual to what they have shown you. Because they've abandoned that character with you. And now they've created a new character with someone else. Which they are now using to fool them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.